Today we'll be looking at how to contribute to the ePrints wiki. Now the first thing you need for this is an account. Um, if you, um, you'll, you'll see there's no edit page um, uh, link uh, and no edit options on this page when you're not logged in. Um, so if you try to log in it will of course ask you for a username and password which if you don't have one you will need to register for. So let's register. So it sent a verification email. So let's switch to my email. And check. Here we go. Verify your account. To complete your registration, follow this link. Very well. I'm now verified. And so now, back at the eprints.wiki, I can log in hopefully you log in the username is your email address logging in with the username and password i created that you previously created so now you can see we've got all these kind of edit links sprinkled all over the place so <coughs> if there's a particular page that you want to edit so let's take for example um the um, let, let, let's let's create an example page. So if we if we have a look at a page, for example, that we're interested in. So take the training videos page. This is at uh, this, this is uh, a page that I maintain. Um, and imagine you wanted to just change this text here. So this is the main part. We can click edit. And what we get is this uh, wiki formatted uh, page of text. But you can just enter some more. and save it. Now rather than keep editing this because this is a real page, what we can do is uh, let's create a new page. So demonstration page. Uh, actually let's use a big P there because that informs the title. And it says there is currently an intersections page. You can search for this page title and other pages search the related logs or edit this page. So let's edit this page. So there are a couple of uh, useful, I mean, there's a lot of documentation out there on wiki formatting. But here are some ones that I most use. Now for an external link, um, you just need to um, you need to put the URL in square brackets, and then if you want, some English language text, you just put that afterwards. Um, and that's about it. Linking to internal pages, I believe, is done with a, a double. Um, so, so let's go to. Imagine I wanted to link to the training course page that we were talking about before. We just need this part of it that comes after the W. And I believe. Like that. So you can see we have now we have some text. We have a, a level one heading, a level two heading, level three heading, um, some text, some bullet points, 
um, a link with some human readable text and a link to an internal page. And again, if you want this to be that do it? No. I think you might need a vertical bar. There we go. So it says the training course, but the link is to the page link. So that's kind of all you need to know. Once you've got headings in, you can edit, you know, specific sections. Uh, so, so for example, um, if we edit this, we put. If you we, the index builds automatically, um, and if you want to edit just one section, you click the edit by the section, and this is this whole level two heading that, that you can edit. So the only other thing really is about categories. <coughs> so there are a number of category pages. So if we look at one of these training videos, all of these video pages are in a category. We can see this one's in two categories. It's in the how-to category and the training video category. And this is an automatic list of all pages that, that contain this category. And the way that's done is with this category uh, uh, heading up here. So this is, this is the name of the category. This is the kind of the sort text. So, so um, how it orders it on the page. So if you look, um, if you look at this page, they all begin with a T, but this adder field is under A, and that's because adder field is the, the kind of the sort text that, that, that's, uh, that's how it's sorted on the category page. So there are a couple of uh, categories that are, are, I think, quite useful. One is the documentation needed category. Um, but if you have a look and see, when you're editing pages, which categories they're in, you can start to get a feel for how these are used throughout the wiki. This is something that needs a bit more work, and so as you're as you're maintaining the documentation, please bear it in mind and bring your ideas to the table.